How would you like it if you could rank your websites on number one of Google? I mean, that's what all businesses want, right? Well, today I'm here with uh, my good friend, Josh. Uh, Josh, welcome, man. Yeah, always great to be here with you. Yes, so yeah, number one, page ranking. That's Then we have to talk with Josh because uh, more of your products have to do with ranking and stuff like that. So uh, you're launching a brand new product today. It's called Surpling. Um, can you tell us a little bit more about it? Yeah, absolutely. So um, this is something that I've been wanting to create for quite a while. And I've gotten a lot of requests uh, to create something like this, especially since November, uh, where we launched pretty, it was pretty much an info course on ranking sites. Um, and a big portion, I mean, the, the most important part of getting not only your websites ranked, but videos ranked, your clients ranked, uh, pretty much any sort of traffic that you're wanting to get from the search engines, the first uh, and most important step is to get your keyword research right, to make yeah. sure you find the right keywords that will allow you to rank quickly. Because mm -hmm. what a lot of people do when they uh, start a new campaign is go into it thinking that they can just rank for any keyword that pops in their head or any yeah. keyword that, uh, you know, they type into Google. And it just it doesn't work that way. You got to be able to find uh, not only what people are searching for, but find low hanging fruit that allow you to get rankings quickly. And that's going to help you to set you up for success a lot better than just going at it blind. Mm. Yeah. So basically you're searching, you're, you're doing suggestions for the people that are searching for a specific keyword that is probably hard to rank for. And you give them suggestions, which they can go after that still have a lot of traffic, but it's much more easy to rank and stay ranked. Is that correct? Yeah, well, the, the, uh, you can actually have four different ways inside of our app to find keywords. So we have uh, what are pretty much related searches or what you know people also search for type keywords, where if you've ever done a Google search, which I'm sure everyone on yeah. here has done, uh, somewhere in the page, Google includes related searches or people also search for keywords, meaning mm. that um, you know, they kind of try to help you if you're not quite sure what you're searching for, they'll tell you, hey, this is what other people that uh, are searching for around that same keyword. Mm. Um, so those are really, really hot keywords. Most of the time they're long tail keywords, low hanging fruit keywords uh, that are quick, uh, mm. you know, you can rank for quickly. And more importantly, those are actual keywords that other people are searching for. Mm. Uh, yeah, so that's so, so one it doesn't even have to be the, the keyword they were searching for, but it is related. So it can be other keywords as well that have to do with the same topic. Exactly, exactly. Mm. So that's one. And then the another one is uh, suggested. So that is where uh, they just type in, you know, one keyword or an idea that they're wanting to target. And then our engine will suggest uh, relevant keywords based around uh, that seed keyword. Uh, then we have uh, our keyword ideas. That's more for people who aren't quite sure where they want to go with their uh, with their niche site or their video yet. Uh, and they'll, they'll go in there, type in a keyword, and then you'll be able to start getting some ideas of what uh, where to go with your campaign. Mm -hmm. uh, and then the last one is our custom keywords. So if you are a little bit more advanced or you kind of have an idea of exactly what keywords you want to target, uh, then you go in there, you just type out all the keywords that you want, and you can uh, do your analysis based on those uh, mm. specific keywords that uh, you are looking to rank for. Uh, and the best thing about, in, regardless of uh, which one uh, the person decides to use, um, our system is built with a difficulty score uh, system built in. So uh, people will be able to quickly uh, look at uh, the keywords list that gets returned back to them and make quick decisions uh, based on our difficulty score system. Mm. Uh, or they'll be able to know which ones to uh, go further into uh, and an analyze more just by that. So anyone, any keyword that's labeled as difficult, you just you know go ahead and ignore it, especially if you're brand new, uh, nice. and just focus on those keywords that are labeled as easy to rank for. Nice. Uh, just so that you know you're not wasting any time. Mm. And there's there's even more, right? I saw things about competitor uh, that you can see how they're doing, what they're ranking for, and ideas about keywords, etc. Uh, can can yeah. you show us the tool so that people know what we're talking yeah. about? Absolutely. So let me go ahead and switch over. Can you see it? Yes, we can screen? see the screen. Yeah. 
Okay, perfect. So here is uh, the keyword tab. Come here to the left hand side. This is the research area. Mm -hmm. uh, so one cool thing that we built in here is the ability for people to create different campaigns as well. So if you are uh, running, uh, you know, research for multiple different sites or multiple different clients, you can keep everything nice and organized. Uh, and just always come here and refer to that if you're ever coming back mm. to find more keywords for a specific site or for a specific uh, YouTube channel. Awesome. Uh, so if I go here to the left, uh, click this plus sign here, here are the four different options that okay. we have. So we have related, uh, we have suggested, uh, we have ideas and we have custom. All right. So like I said, here are, this is kind of like a screenshot of what those related searches look like. Yeah. Um, I'm going to go ahead and click on suggested for now. Uh, and if, uh, someone ever wants to change it, you could just change it here. Once you get into the mm. second page, uh, here you have the location. All right. People can choose any country. Okay. That so want. this can be, this can be used for any country if I'm correct. Yeah. So we have just about every country in here okay. that you can think of. All right. Uh, we have the different languages uh, and then here we have the C keyword. This is where um you know you can go ahead and type in your that that first keyword that mm -hmm. you want so uh, as an example we can do something like uh, remove mold yourself as an example and here mm -hmm. um quantity is how many keywords you want returned back to you okay. uh, so we have a minimum of 100 and then you can move this okay. uh, as higher as low as you want Nice. Uh, now just keep in mind, 10 credits, uh, returns back a hundred keywords. Mm. Um, and the good thing though, is that if you do, um, bring this higher and, uh, for some reason, uh, let's say that you want, uh, 500 keywords, but the system only uh, brings back, uh, 300, mm -hmm. uh, you will, uh, our system will uh, automatically refund that difference okay. in credits, or if let's say it brings back 550. Uh, it'll mm -hmm. automatically um, round up to the nearest number. So it'll round up to 600 and then it will re uh, refund whatever uh, the okay. difference is cool. in that number. So I'm going to go ahead and hit start. Mm -hmm. And then here is where the system is going back and getting keywords uh, suggested oh, nice. to us. So here, here we go. Within a few seconds, we have all this information here, how to remove mm -hmm. mold from uh, your from crawl space yourself. This is a great one right there. Um, it's, it's a long tail keyword. Um, and it's talking about, uh, removing mold from a very specific spot, uh, mm -hmm. in your home. So that is a great, I'll go ahead and just save that one there. So okay. here on the left hand side, you can just click on this option and it'll add them to your saved keywords. Okay, cool. Um, and then you'll see here, there's other ones. There's a safe to remove black mold yourself. But you see here right on the right hand side, right away, you could just make quick decisions and just look at the yeah. green ones. And so the, gr the green ones, the green ones are actually the ones that are very easy to, uh, to rank for. Exactly. Exactly. So here is, and the good thing about these two here, they're, they're very similar, uh, type keywords. So yeah. this one talks about cross space, mm -hmm. uh, which is below. And this one is, uh, talking about the attic. Uh, so we'll go ahead and go deeper into this one here at the top. I like that one there. Uh, you'll click on this magnifying glass here. Uh, and here is going to give you more information uh, about this keyword. So it's going to okay. give you uh, the exact uh, number. So easy, uh, the search trend, uh, and you can see it's going up. Uh, mm. And then right here, it gives you an average of uh, backlinks for okay. those sites that are ranking. Uh, and to see the sites that are ranking, all you have to do is click this button here and um, it's going to pull back the top 10 keywords for, uh, excuse me, the top 10 sites for that, uh, keyword, um, in the search the engine. So this, this is basically Google ranking the, the different websites. Yeah. So these are the yeah. top 10 sites ranking. This is the competition. Mm. Basically these here are your competitors yeah. for, uh, this particular keyword. Um, and the good thing is that it, the beauty about this, uh, this difficulty score as well is that um if it's a hard keyword or something that you know just anything above easy if, if you're brand new to uh, getting traffic from uh, google and youtube uh, just skip it don't even look at you don't even have to go deeper into it mm, yeah. um 
because boom, you can make decisions much quicker. And, nice. uh, you know, it does um, cost some additional credits to get these uh, top 10 rankings so you can go deeper into it. Boom. But if there, if you, you go, you use our difficulty system and mm -hmm. you don't even go any deeper into that. Um, but the good thing from here, now that you know who your competitors are, mm -hmm. you can hover over any of these links and oh, go nice. deeper into the into that URL to find out, okay, what are these people doing to rank? Mm -hmm. All right, so you can go and specifically analyze, uh, you can visit the URL, you can mm -hmm. specifically analyze their backlinks for that URL, you can analyze the backlinks for the entire domain, you can uh, analyze uh, that URL in terms of competitiveness, or uh, analyze the entire domain uh, for competitiveness. So uh, nice. I'll go ahead and uh, analyze the URL's backlinks first, just to kind of get an idea of uh, what kind of what backlinks they they're building exactly what kind of backlinks they're building so here it automatically takes me to the backlink analysis tab mm -hmm. and it automatically pulls that url into yeah. the target url uh, space so i'm going to hit start uh, and it's going to just do its thing and pull back uh, the information on the backlinks for that specific url nice. uh, and you can see this is awesome here because it tells me uh, the url rank is low the url spam rank is low and right here on the right hand side, it gives me a backlink summary. So it has a total backlinks of 33, uh, 33 different pages linking to it, 14 different domains, mm. uh, and 14 different root domains, 11 different IP addresses. All right. So here uh, we can see uh, where they're getting backlinks from and the anchor text that they yeah. use. So cross space, foundation repairs, space uh, prevents mold growth and keeps. And then here they're linking direct to the URL. Mm. Uh, so this is a very, very good sign for me because number one, they don't have many backlinks. Uh, number two, uh, they're not from uh, that many uh, different domains. Mm -hmm. So they have 33 total backlinks, but only about 14 half, different domains. Uh, yeah. yeah, only half different domains. And they're not even using that good of backlinks. Let me see the second page to see if any of them. You see, yeah, their 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 anchor text isn't really relevant to them wanting to um, uh, rank for that specific keyword. Yeah, so they here, didn't see. even add the specific keywords to rank for while they were exactly. linking. Yeah, exactly. And it seems like most of these are just from like um, like an article directory. Yeah, look. So this is these are links that they built themselves mm. probably from. Uh, you know, an article directory, or yeah. they paid to have some backlinks built for them. So this is good. This this this, this is an easy one that, to rank for. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you can go ahead and reverse engineer what mm -hmm. they're doing and do it a little bit better because uh, they're not even exactly. Yeah, uh, you know, they're not doing. They're not using the the, the keyword as uh, their anchor text. Yeah. Uh, so and, right and away, by the way, you can you can do the same thing for difficult keywords and then use it in your advantage, right? So even if you don't want to rank, you can still learn from how really competitive exactly. guys are doing it. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. So, um, that is, and then I'll take this same URL and do, so just right away, this is already a good sign for this particular keyword. Mm -hmm. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and run a competition analysis real quick for this, just to get some more information. Mm -hmm. um, and then we'll make some uh, decisions based on that. But right away, I've, I've, I'm already confident in this keyword. Yeah. Uh, and you can see this is uh, another way that you can also um, find uh, additional keywords here by doing some competitive analysis. Because mm -hmm. now I'm diving deeper into this URL and getting yeah. their entire uh, ranking strategy. Mm. Uh, and here on the right hand side, it's going to tell me their. Uh, organic um, overview. So they mm -hmm. have 47 keywords in position number one, uh, 16 keywords in position two to three, uh, and 17 keywords in position four to 10. And then all the other ones nice. uh, are below that. But so the, this site is actually ranking pretty well uh, for uh, multiple different keywords. Mm -hmm. So now we can actually go in and see what those keywords are. Yeah. All right. Um, and then you can also pretty much steal their keywords. If you see some here that uh, are, um, uh, you know, good to rank for, you can just take them all out because these didn't come up in, you know, when I was yeah. doing the research yeah. here, but you can see here that a lot of these are listed as easy. Easy to rank, uh, yeah. Exactly. And the good thing, look, that one long tail keyword, I didn't realize that 
uh, cross-based mold was such a big uh, deal. But um, I mean, I, I guess it makes sense. It does get kind of moldy down there in the cross space. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, you can see here, these are all the uh, keywords that they're ranking for. All right. Nice. And a lot of them have to do with uh, cross -based. And I do like this. I, I like um, the fact that they have this mold remediation in there as well. Um, I'm assuming that th this uh, company provides mold remediation. Uh, yeah, so they do have, yeah. this is a mold cleanup um, mm -hmm. company. So that's a great sign because yeah. the reason I, I, that this is a great sign for me is because I know that there are uh, affiliate programs for mold remediation. Okay. And I'll talk about that. I'll talk about that here in a bit um, of where you can find those offers. But mm -hmm. uh, from here, you can go ahead and go deeper into some of these. I like this, uh, these keywords here. So I'll um, go ahead and do that mold inspection as well. Uh, there's affiliate programs, pretty much mold inspection, mold rem mm -hmm. remediation. There are a ton of um, um, affiliate programs for that. Um, so from here, you can also go deeper into any one of these keywords, just like yeah. we did. Um, so I already have, uh, I found what uh, the main keyword, and then I took two or three keywords from this mm -hmm. actual competitor. Yeah. Uh, and you can see it looks pretty much, this one looks a little bit easier uh, yeah. to rank for because there, there aren't that many, um, um, total backlinks and backlinks, average backlinks for this, uh, for this particular keyword. Uh, so I'm just going to go ahead to get the search results for that keyword itself. Um, so you, you can I'm, still, you, you can keep searching and searching and dive deeper into all those keywords that are coming up and yeah, just continue the same process over and over again. Exactly. And now one keyword has now quickly turned into like four keywords and I'll go mm -hmm. here to, uh, let me just go here to the saved one while that's running. Mm -hmm. Uh, you'll see here that now that one keyword not turned into, you know, four or five keywords yeah. that I can now, uh, target. All nice. right. So, uh, that is, uh, pretty much how we've built search thing. You can come in here, find keywords, uh, analyze those keywords, get a quick idea of what uh, the difficulty score is for those keywords. Uh, yeah. here I didn't even mention this. We have the intent of those keywords as well. Uh, so it autom automatically tell you if they're informational commercial, this one here, you can tell it's, uh, it's commercial because someone is specifically looking for uh, to get that problem resolved, mm -hmm. mold remediation. Mm -hmm. um, uh, and then you can you know, analyze the backlinks for the for the top ranking sites so that you can get a good, clear idea of what you need to do to outrank them in terms of backlinks. And then the competitive analysis will tell you, OK, this person is not just ranking uh, for that one keyword. They are yeah. also ranking for you know all these other keywords and then you can steal keywords from them mm. steal their entire backlink nice. strategy uh, and you know optimize your site better than that because uh you know when when you did the uh, when we did the backlink analysis um you know they, they weren't even uh, optimized that well for that mm. particular keyword as well yeah. um so from here we also have our site audit uh feature yeah. and our site audit feature pretty much uh to, I'll, I'll show you this one that I ran because it does take quite a bit uh, yeah. for this process to happen because what the site audit system does is it takes, uh, you can plug in any URL or any domain mm -hmm. that you have and it will go ahead and um, it will go ahead and um, scan that entire domain and it will pull back any and all errors that you have on that mm -hmm. site, tell you what's wrong um and how pretty much what you need to do to fix it yeah so, to fix it so tell you, exactly so if if one of these urls pulls back uh if you click on sorry oh, wow. that little fast but if you click on the magnifying glass it'll pull up everything mm. uh for that site how fast is loading uh your optimization uh any broken links that you have your all your media tags and it'll tell you all right you know this is wrong this is wrong and then you just got to fix it and it'll help you rank a little bit better Nice. Um, so this is a very, very powerful, uh, feature for anyone who already has, uh, websites that you're working on or clients websites that you're working on yeah. but, or, or potential clients that you want to work on. You mm -hmm. can come in here, run a site audit on there and then have a call with them and tell them, look, this is everything that's wrong with your website. We can help you fix we can it. Fix it, will it. Help yeah. you rank. Nice. Exactly. Um, and now here we have our rank tracking, uh, system as well, where you'll be able to just plug in any keyword that you want. Uh, any URL that you want and start tracking it. Uh, and then, you know, over time, uh, it'll just show you uh, where you're ranking 
uh, for that specific keyword and all the information, whether it's organic, whether it's local. Um, and then, you know, you can just stay on top of your rank. Okay, so it, it, gives, it gives you an overview over time uh, about the tracking for specific keywords. So you can see, hey, now I'm ranking page one, page two. It's keeping track exactly. over a certain amount exactly. of time. Yeah, exactly. So at the, from the moment you start uh, ranking, uh, tracking it, it'll mm -hmm. keep, uh, you, you'll be able to set uh, the interval of how often you want that rank mm -hmm. tracker to run. Mm -hmm. uh, so if, if it's a new campaign, I would suggest, you know, not um, putting it too frequent mm -hmm. um, because it does, you know, anytime you, it, it checks your rankings, it will cost one credit. Mm -hmm. um, so if it's a brand new campaign, uh, I'm not sure why this is not opening right now. Um, <laughs> but if it's a brand new campaign, yeah. Uh, but <laughs> if, if you're running, um, yeah, if, if it's a new campaign that you're running, obviously it's going to take some time for those uh, yeah. rankings to start yeah. kicking in. Uh, so you can just go ahead and put it at every month, you know, every 30 days or every 14 days. Uh, and then as uh, you start getting better uh, or start, uh, increasing in rankings, you can increase the frequency of how often uh, those rankings get checked. Uh, awesome. And then here on the left hand side, we also have our sub users uh, option. Uh, okay. This is very, very powerful as well, because you can just uh, hire a VA to come in here and find keywords for you. Okay. Uh, and one of our main competitors, they actually charge $50 a month per uh, just for uh, per user that you add to your account. Okay. Uh, so with us, they'll be able to get up to three um uh as a free bonus all right okay so, cool um as a free bonus for i believe upgrade number two okay um and then here on the left hand side is where i mentioned uh, where you can yeah. find affiliate offers. Your affiliate offers yeah so if you put in mold you will we'll see all the different mold options we have mold removal paying up to 75 dollars uh per action there oh, mold nice. removal here 60 dollars per lead uh, 42 there. 40 so you there. you've connected this to a lot of affiliate programs. When it's at the right side, there there are many affiliate pl platforms, right? Yeah, yeah, exactly. So here, if you see one that is that calls your attention, just click on there, and it'll take you to sign up for okay that for that specific there. program. Exactly, exactly. Nice. Um, and yeah, and that's it. That is SERP Sling, pretty much uh, how it works and really how it cool. helps you. Uh, to uh, get more uh, traffic and more rankings. Nice, man. Really cool tool. So, uh, yeah, if you're looking to to rank, this is definitely something that can help you and give you a ton of ideas. I mean, you go over the software and you immediately get all those ideas for keywords. And, it, yeah, this helps you really to rank your, your websites uh, on the number one of Google. Uh, and, yeah, you can, of course, use this for yourself, for affiliate marketing, for your own business, for other business, of course, you can also use this as, uh, as a service for other businesses as well. And for uh, you're YouTube videos as well. Sorry? For, for YouTube videos as well, you can oh. quickly find those keywords. I, I'm always a fan of doing both. So you have your site, you have your videos. Yeah. Uh, and then, boom, you attack it with both. Nice. So you're there, you're launching this today. Um, there are some upgrades. There's a, the front end, uh, et cetera. What is part of the front end? What can they expect when they purchase the front end? Yeah, absolutely. So on the front end, uh, it is a, a credit based system. So on mm -hmm. the front end, we'll have three different options where you can choose uh, to get uh, a specific amount of credits. Uh, and uh, on the page, we'll also have a full breakdown of how credits are used. Yeah. Uh, but pretty much uh, 10 credits uh, specifically for keywords, it'll return back uh, 100 keywords. Okay. Uh, and then the way that we've built it as well is that people can use their credits however they want. Uh, so you'll be able to use your credits for uh, the research, mm -hmm. for the competitive analysis, for your rank tracking. Uh, we didn't want to pretty much uh, restrict people on how to use their credits. Mm -hmm. uh, so they'll be able to use that on the front end. And on the front end, they get pretty much uh, just about everything that I show. So you get the okay. keyword research, you get the uh, competitive analysis, you get the backlink analysis, uh, all of that where you can just dive deep and find uh, the specific keywords that you want to target. Uh, and then upgrade number one uh, is where people can lock in a big, big discount to get uh, credits on a monthly basis. Okay. Um, so that is going to be heavily discounted. 
uh, on the uh, on that page. So people mm -hmm. do want to make sure that they pick that up. And on that page, they'll also be able to unlock our rank tracker as a free bonus. So in okay. upgrade number one, you can not, uh, not only get credits out of this discount, but unlock that rank tracker. Upgrade okay. number two is where you can unlock our audit system. So our website audit uh, mm -hmm. feature, as well as the sub users feature, you'll get it as a bonus on that page. Uh, which, like I mentioned, our uh, competitors charge uh, $50 per month per yeah. user uh, just to have sub users because they understand how powerful it is just to just have someone there mm -hmm. finding keywords for you and you focus on all the other stuff. Um, and then upgrade number three is going to be a special offer for our Done For You Authority platform, uh, which is mm -hmm. where you can go in and quickly find uh, domain names that already have built in authority in them. So you can get a huge jump start on your rankings instead of starting on a, yeah, on a, new, on a new domain. You find a domain that already has built-in backlinks, uh, built-in authority, and start your website on there. And we have domains for pretty much uh, anything. Our system mm -hmm. just sits there, crawls the web every day, looking for domains that are uh, that have expired but already have backlinks existing uh, out there. Uh, and then upgrade number four is a special offer for our uh, Done For You Suite platform. Done For You Suite is where we will build your backlinks mm -hmm. for you uh, so that you don't even have to worry about that. And you saw that, you know, a lot of uh, the, that person's backlinks were, were either they paid for someone to do it or yeah. they have someone on the team building backlinks for them. Uh, we can be that person for you to build those backlinks uh, with upgrade number four. Nice. Um, and that's it. That that is uh, the last upgrade. That's, that's, a, that's a very solid funnel with everything included, basically, to get those those rankings, right? Backlinks yeah. uh, that you're going to need to the right domain names, etc. So uh, yeah, of course, uh, up to you if you're watching this video. What kind of the upgrades you need? Uh, luckily, you explained everything, so everything everyone can make their own decision. Um, is there anything else that you'd like to say, Josh? Uh, no, that's it. Just make sure you get there early, pick up your copy early, um, because over time, uh, throughout the days, the uh, price does price go will up. go up. Yeah, as usually uh, with your launches. Yeah. So uh, yeah, if this is something that you want to use for your business, make sure to pick it up. Um, yeah, like just you said, I, I've seen webinars, most of your webinars, you even do it in the pre-launch webinars, the price already raising. So <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, if, I, I'm, if, true, I'm true to my word when it comes to that because I do like rewarding. Absolutely. Yeah. I always tell people as well, uh, my email, I send it out today as well. I tell them, be on the webinar because that's the, the best price you will get. But if you're seeing this a little late, the price is still good. So make sure to, to pick it up while you see it. And uh, Josh, thank you so much for your time. And uh, thank you. All the best today uh, with the launch. And uh, yeah. Thank you guys for you watching. Make sure to, uh, to like and subscribe to this video. And uh, looking forward to see you in the next one. Cheers, guys.